Hello everyone, today we'll be dealing with chapter 2 which is connecting and communicating online. So these are the objectives. So we'll be discussing the short discussion on the evolution of internet. We'll also be describing various broadband internet connections, what are those things available uh, right now, especially in this time of pandemic to really need these connections. And we will be able to describe the purpose of an IP address and the relationship to a domain name. Uh, this one is so technical that you have to study this particular uh, IP addresses in one semester for my network administration class. And we also have the features of a browser and then the components of a web address. We also have the uh, the ways on how to effectively search uh, specific topics or information online. We will also be dealing with the risk of uh, using online social networks, but not limited to social networks because there are other uh, sites that we usually uh, browse or visit. And we'll also try to describe the different types of websites, the different media uh, that makes up a website or page. And then we'll be able to explain how this email list, uh, instant messaging, chat rooms, and other uh, communication platforms that we usually do or uh, use. and applications in our mobile phones how do they work we also have the uh, netiquette of course now uh, first we have to define what is internet ano ba itong internet na sinasabi natin okay so this is the worldwide collection of networks that connects millions of businesses government agencies education institutions and individuals no uh, kagaya ngayon uh, with your uh, devices, whatever that is, uh, you can browse the internet. You are part of the information online. No? And then, most of you, you are part of the uh, internet. Okay? Because you have your own networks, you use your own, uh, what do you call that? You use your own broadband, for example. You use your own Wi-Fi. You use your own home networks. Okay. And the origin of this internet uh, started as ARPANET last September 1969. Uh, there are two main goals. First, the scientists who created this ARPANET, uh, they use it to share information and work together from different uh, locations or physical locations. The other uh, reason or goal that uh, that's being targeted in the development of this ARPANET was uh, the uh, it should work where even this particular network is uh, or part of this network uh, are the uh, destroyed or disabled by a disaster. So it should work like that so that the scientists can still work together. So from 1969, it becomes functional. And then on 1984, that's the uh, year, it has more than 1,000 individual computers linked as hosts. Um, these hosts are, of course, uh, your devices no? you are a host of an information you are a host of a specific uh, data then you share something like that but at that year 1984 there are only uh, 1000 individual computers that are linked together and today 
there are millions of hosts connected to the internet and they are they are connected in a specific uh, network standard okay we call that network standard we'll be dealing that uh, later on and for you to connect to the internet you must have either wired or wireless connection okay so a computer or device they are physically attached by a cable or wire to a communications device because uh, if you want to connect to the internet you need also other devices such as communications device okay and computers without communications device can use wireless modem or other communications device that enables wireless connectivity what are the examples of this one your mobile phone is connected to let's say for example globe or your smart uh, you can use the mobile data for you to uh, uh, connect to the internet. And of course, there is a wireless capability of your phone already, especially with smartphones right now. Uh, madami na siyang uh, capabilities unlike before. Maalala niyo yung mga old types of uh, mobile phones. Mga 3315, 5110, they don't have the wireless connectivity yet but they have uh, mobile services of course so this is the common diagram or the best or simplest uh, way for you to connect to the internet this one this desktop here is connected to a modem and the modem is used to uh, use to digitize the signal either to modulate or demodulate the signal from a specific source another uh, version which is the use of laptop for example we don't have uh, wireless capability of this particular uh, laptop here we use the uh, the example of this one is the globe broadband or the tattoo if you can still recognize that one or if you can still remember that one so smart naman they have their smart bro hindi ako nagkakamali pero yung mga yun wala na ngayon no because uh, you can directly use your cell phones to uh, connect to the internet and you may also share the internet connectivity of that phone already so for wired connectivity we have uh, cable internet service uh, CIS or say for example uh, the local example of this one is the RBC networks dito sa Tugigaraw though they are simply uh, distribute signals the cable TV they are also uh, offering services the internet services right now okay, they are all uh, they are also uh, doing a lot of uh, improvements uh, simula nung nagka uh, nagka pandemic kasi most users uh, kailangan na natin ng internet connectivity especially you no? especially yung mga nag work from home katulad namin and then we also have the digital service line of course this DSL was the first connect connect or uh, service or services offered by PLDT and Digital that was the first uh, or a former competition of PLDT pero nag merge na sila binili ni PLDT we also have the fiber to the premises this one uh, this one is my connection right now um, I have a fiber connection from PLDT, of course. And as a backup, I have also my uh, globe connection. And for wireless, yun nga, yung sinasabi ko, I have my globe. But hindi ko masyadong ginagamit kasi I have my fiber. For you, siguro, uh, karamihan sa inyo, naka-fiber din. So, maganda ng fiber ng PLDT, stable na siya. Natakot ata sila dito sa may uh, bagong telco, which is Dito Telecommunications. Which is good kasi nag improve yung internet connection natin. We also have um, fixed wireless and satellite internet service 
usually for satellite internet service these are being used by uh, the government especially the military okay the wi-fi uh, i forgot to mention this is of course your uh, wireless fidelity you can rebroadcast the internet services using uh, wi-fi devices uh, the communication devices we'll be dealing with that later on Okay. For hotspot, you can use a specific device such as your mobile phone. And then uh, you can share the internet of your mobile phone to other um, devices. So uh, even your friend that uh, don't have the internet services, uh, pwede mo siyang share and you can, you can play your um, mobile legends, you can play your uh, the one that is uh, being played by my son, which is the, uh, they call that again, uh, the shooting game, uh, LOL. I don't know, it's not LOL, it's, uh, I forgot the name already. Okay, but anyway, uh, those can be uh, made through a specific hotspot. Uh, if one uh, don't have the internet connection, the other one has, then, the one that has internet connectivity uh, can share the uh, connection to the other device. Okay, as simple as, as, simple as uh, using your wireless um, devices connecting together. Okay. So these uh, ISPs, uh, these are the businesses or uh, they provide uh, internet services. No, it's not only a business, but there are also people who are inclined with. Uh, providing internet services to uh, a specific area, for example, uh, with the use of point-to-point -point services. Okay? Um, just like my friend, he has uh, uh, an antenna and it rebroadcast a specific signal to the neighbor. Uh, and pinagkakakitaan niya na kasi... Um, from 100 Mbps, for example, i redistribute niya yun sa mga clients niya sa paligid. Okay? And then, of course, this particular uh, signal can be controlled through a specific bandwidth. Okay? So, kung 3 Mbps, for example, yung connection na hinihingi niya, yun yung babayar niya. Okay? And this bandwidth, of course, this, these are the amount of data that travels over a network. Okay? They can be measured in megabytes or gigabytes. And here's how the users request for a web page that might travel the internet using cable internet services. Okay, so kung mara, nandito yung bahay nyo, ang gandang bahay, and then you have your modem, a specific request to a specific uh, cable television, for example, or internet services uh, provider. And then a specific central cable system sends request to over high-speed fiber optics. And over that particular uh, ISP, um, it can run out to a specific page wherein that page is uh, offered by a specific uh, company. Okay? Kasi yung isang web page natin, um, say for example, Shopee, kung nasa bahay ka, uh, you open mo yung Shopee. Yung Shopee, it's not, it's not a house, but it's a computer. Okay? It's installed in a, a specific computer. The page of the Shopee or Lazada is in a specific computer system. Okay, so we are trying to reach a specific host, a specific computer over the internet. Okay, and that particular host is uh, identified through a specific identity. Uh, we call it the IP address, the sequence of numbers that uniquely identifies each computer or device connected to the internet so your cell phones or your your uh, smart televisions at home your laptops your desktops they are identified through the internet with a specific or unique ip address no makikita niyo sa settings and then uh, go to the ip addresses and then uh, we also have this domain name um, a text based name that corresponds to the ip address say for example you are trying to uh, visit, uh, ito na lang, example natin dito, the, the google.com. Uh, of course, google.com is uh, a company 
a URL for a specific company. And then they created this sequencing of uh, uh, IP addresses or uh, numbers, then convert it to text version so that there's no need for us to memorize the IP address of the computer where Google is installed. So what we are uh, doing is we simply open the browser and then you type the uh, the thing that you need to type. So for example, you are searching for um, steps on how to use uh, a specific uh, device you bought from the internet or Shopee, for example. Then uh, you just uh, type the text. It's no longer the IP address. Say, for example, the device is a Samsung phone uh, or an Oppo. A92, for example. So what you're going to visit is the website of oppo.com or oppo, huh? the brand oppo, O-P-P-O, -P -P okay? Or Samsung or samsung.com, that's the domain name. Huh? It's not that uh, it will trigger uh, uh, confusion, but it will make, it, it makes though, it will make, <laughs> uh, it makes the, uh searching easier okay so this dns is uh the so-called domain name system uh, it has a server or the dns server okay this translates the domain name into its associated ip so isang computer isang ip and then kung saan siya naka-store yung hinahanap mong information yun yung ating combination okay so, kino-convert nung DNS server yung IP address ng computer kung nasan yung information mo and then yung, yun yung ating sinesearch over the internet. Okay? So, this IPv4 and IPv6 are versions of IP addresses. Uh, if you want to know more about this one, uh, you enroll to my networking class and shift to IT. <laughs> okay? So, these are the common TLDs or the top, lob, top level domains. Uh, there are a lot of uh, TLDs are uh, uh, over the internet, but these are the common. We have your .com, which is on commercial .edu for education, just like uh, www.usl.edu.ph. Uh, .gov is the government. .mil is for the military, and .net is for commercial companies, and then .org is nonprofit organizations. Okay, so ganito yon. So yung mga DNS server natin. Say for example, si user uh, nagtype siya dito sa uh, browser, then it searches for a specific uh, Google document, and then si Google uh, DNS server translates to this particular search text and then responded to the user's request that you are searching for a specific IP. Okay? It's the version, uh, the number version of the computer that we are trying to reach, but um, the user itself uh, searches for text, okay? So we have the World Wide Web or the so-called www or the web, which consists of worldwide collection of electronic documents and we call them web pages. And these web pages are uh, created by um, web developers. And of course, uh, if you put these web pages together and you associate them together, uh, we call it a website. And this website can be uh, forwarded through its users through a specific web server. Okay? So, mag-browse tayo sa website ni USL, for example. Si USL, meron siyang web server. And then, we interact with the website of USL. Uh, because of this version, okay? So, web 2.0. So, pwede tayo mag-share ng information natin or pwede tayo mag-ask ng questions to a specific uh, page wherein we are allowed to type our comments or questions. Uh, that's what we call the feature of web 2.0. And the browser, of course, uh, the application we usually install in our um, computers or mobile devices such as a Google 
Google Chrome, I mean, the Mozilla Firefox in Safari, and there are other browsers, okay? The first page that we land into is, we call it the home page, okay? So, pag open mo ng browser, kung ano nakita mo dun, that's what we call the home page. And then, uh, we are able to search different topics to different tabs. We call that tab browsing. Kagaya nitong nasa example, um, si MSN is being searched for Windows 8 and then CDC, something like that. Or, and then we ha also have the Yahoo. So there are three tabs in just one browser. <clears throat> for web page, it has a unique address. We call it the web address. And uh, also it is being called as the uh, URL or uh, the so-called resource locator, uniform resource locator. Okay. So it specifies a specific protocol. And then the host name, which is the World Wide Web. And then your domain name, which is either for the government. Um, in this case, we have the .gov. And then we also have the path of the document wherein it is being installed in the computer system. And then the web page name wherein this particular document is uh, being uh, displayed. So a web app is an application stored on a web server that you access through a browser. Okay. So whenever you uh, open or if you have your Google account, then simply uh, open Google search. Then makikita mo doon yung mga uh, apps na available. We have your, uh, let me just uh, open my browser. Okay. So for example, we have this one. So these are the different uh, apps that you are able to use so these are web apps okay so web app host usually provide storage for users data and information on their servers known as cloud storage katulad ni, cloud, uh, ni google okay see google it offers the google drive i have here my google drive so this is the google drive provided by google of course so there are a lot of information in here so we have the uh, again so these are very important uh, information for me okay uh, moving on so search engine naman tayo okay so if we classify the things we use over the internet we uh commonly use a specific browser such as google chrome for example and then sometimes we also commonly use uh, a specific search engine na hindi natin alam na yun na pala yung ginagamit natin okay this search engine sila yung sina sila yung mga ginagamit natin na google google search si um ano pa yung mga example ng search engine natin Si Microsoft, MSDN, uh, example ng search engine natin. Uh, check natin dito sa ating lesson. Sa MSDN natin. So search engine, si Yahoo, si Bing, si Google, so si Ask. Okay, so nandun kasi example natin. Yan. And of course, whenever you uh, use the search engine uh, and type for a specific topic, say for example, uh, you are searching for uh, the thing that you bought from the internet, from Shopee, for example, Samsung or the Oppo A92, your subject directory appears whenever you search a specific text related to your device. Okay, So there are a lot of... Uh, information that will appear in a directory form. So, lahat yung mga yun, pag mag appear na siya, uh, pwede mo na siyang i-browse. Katulad nito. So, for example, let's try to open for uh, Samsung. Ayaw ko si Samsung. Si Oppo ang gusto ko. Oppo A92. Okay. So, for example, Oppo A92 is your search text through this Google search engine. 
And all of these things, lahat ng mga ito, these are search directories or subject directories. We call them subject directories. And whenever you search, uh, there are a lot of uh, operators or we call it wildcards, for example, that we can use to refi refine the search. So for example, A92 uh, asterisk. Okay, lahat ng searches natin uh, for A92 ang mag appear din. Possible, bibigyan niya lahat. Okay? But if I search for A92 such as that JPEG ay, sorry. Okay? So, view all. So, lahat ng JPEG related activities uh, mag appear no? Yung mga ini-input ng mga users din mga yan. Okay? So, lahat ng mga ito galing sa users or from the company, for example, or from marketers uh, that are related to your search. Okay? So, you can use these wildcards. Okay? And also, if you want to search for a specific file, okay, uh, A, uh, OPPO A92, such as .ppt, for example. So, most of the uh, searches that will appear is on PowerPoint presentation. Uh, hindi siya ganun karami. Uh, let's try computers. Asterisk.ppt. Okay. So, yan. So, lahat ng PowerPoint presentations na meron related kay computer system, it will appear on this particular search. Okay. So, PowerPoint presentation, slide slide player, PowerPoint din yan. PowerPoint, PowerPoint, slide share, PowerPoint din yan. So, it helps the user to refine his or her search. So, why don't you give it a try using these particular operators? And then, we also have the different types of websites. Uh, first, yung ating search engine, yung natakal natin kanina. And then, we also have the online social networks, I think favorite ng lahat. Uh, information research, media sharing, bookmarking, news, weather, sports, and other mass media. We have also the education, business, governmental, and organizational. We also have the blogs, wikis, uh, collaboration tools, health and fitness, science, entertainment, banking and finance, travel and tourism, mapping, retail, and auction. Um, right now, uh, with the pandemic, ito, na 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 ma maximize itong entertainment uh, websites and daming nagbi-visit diyan especially if you have your Netflix and then we also have retail and auctions yung mga shopping online natin travel and tourism na uh, hindi na tayo nakakapunta na physically but we see them through the monitor okay banking and finance bank transfer na lang padala and educational the use of your LMS Blog sa mga gumagawa ng DIY sa bahay. Okay? Pwede nyo yung idaan dito. Uh, especially those uh, vloggers. It's not blogs. Uh, it's vlog. But this is blogs. is different. Okay? And then we also have careers and employment. Uh, we use also e-commerce. Uh, we have e-commerce also. Portals and content aggregation. Uh, website creation and management. So, how does a website is being published? It's very simple. Okay? So, you have to plan first. You have to design. You create. You host. And then maintain. Uh, there are only five steps. But, um, the best part is whenever users see those uh, pages already. If they are already watching your pages. Okay? So, how do they watch or what can they watch? from your pages. Uh, they can be in the form of graphics, animation, audio, video, uh, virtual reality, sometimes text uh, combined. So graphics, this is the first one, picture style, no? So they came in different formats, okay? JPEG, PNP, PNG, TIFF, and so on. Infographics din, meron din yan, pwede rin natin i-upload yan sa ating mga websites. And then animation, um, say so for example, this one, oops, tanggal yung animation yun. Actually, 
this one is a series of circles that moves to um, the right okay that's uh, for the animation anyway um, this animation is a series of images still images uh, kung yung mga cartoons na sinauna okay um, they are uh, made through sketch pads and then pag ni roll down mo yung papel uh, so for example yung sa first page is nasa left part corner and then dun sa last page nandun na siya sa lower right corner okay so kapag naglilipat ka ng pages bumababa bumababa bumababa, bumababa hanggang sa matapos mo i-roll yung pages ng notepad for example so we also have audio of course yung mga mahilig sa music Virtual reality. Okay. So these are uh, the the things that we usually use to uh, simulate the real world scenario with the use of these uh, virtual reality computers. Okay. We also have plugins and add-ons. Of course, this one are installed or attached to a specific browser that extends to your uh, extends the capability of the browser itself. So email, alam nyo na yan. Email program, of course. Uh, Outlook is an email program. So how an email message travel from a sender to receiver? Okay, email tayo. Tapos, yung email program, contact software on the outgoing mail server. And then, uh, step 3, software on the outgo outgoing mail server determines the best route. Of course, uh, that's on networking again, routing. And then the internet router, of course, the incoming mail services. And then, of course, this one categorize what particular uh, media is being forwarded to your computer. Then your computer will adjust and receives the actual uh, file or information. Email list naman tayo, group of email addresses. Okay. Kunwari, meron ng isang a template or isang email lang, a letter, for example, and then you can send to a specific uh, multiple users okay so nagra-random siya or di kaya you can specify all the email addresses of your friends for example uh, na gusto mo makareceive ng email address ay ng email okay so instant messaging alam nyo naman yan this one is real time okay that's why it's called uh, instant we also have chat of course ito din ito din okay and then chat room Yung sino pa nakiki um, chat sa inyo? Um, not on your GC, but of course to other uh, people. Okay. So these are uh, good for uh, businesses. Uh, those who don't have lab life, you can <laughs> visit chat rooms. Then search for your loved ones. Kung nandun talaga sila o wala. <laughs> And then online discussion, of course. Uh, katulad sa uh, LMS natin, there is a specific discussion tab that we can uh, use. Okay, but we have the video record anyway, and sometimes we uh, have the online meet. We also have the voice over IP or the VoIP. Okay, then ginagamit natin for our G meet. And file transfer. This is what we use, or this is the standard that we use. So we can upload and download um, files from our computer system, okay? With the use, of course, of the internet, okay? And then it requires also a server. We call it the FTP server. And with all those uh, information about the internet, uh, don't forget to uh, use the code of acceptable internet behavior. Okay, this is the one na usually nakakalimutan ng iba. Okay, so uh, you please read these things. Okay, hindi ko na kailangan isa-isahin kasi um, yung behavior nyo naman, hindi ko naman controlled. So, it's up to you how you react on a specific uh, media, specific topic or even a specific video or something on the social media, no?
katulad nung CO, ah, yung bago. Okay. So, uh, that's it. That's the end of this uh, presentation. The evolution, the web, the various types of website, uh, other services, netiquette, and so on. Okay? So, thanks. Uh, see you on the next video.